Hello, I'm Kevin Eccles and welcome to Showcase West Gray. As mayor of West Gray, I get to do this show uh, and it is the third year that we're into Showcase West Gray here on Channel 6. Just as most of the regular viewers know, we try, the objective of this monthly show is just to try and get some interesting individuals uh, from West Gray that uh, can come forward and give us an insight into their life, their activities, uh, their commitment and their ongoing uh, atmosphere in the community, of what they do for the community. So today we have with us, or I have with me, the privilege of uh, Richard Munn in studio and as you can see in front of me, Richard is a potter. Uh, comes from Newstead, and welcome to the show, Richard. Great to have you here. Well, Kevin, thanks. It's, it's nice to be here. Well, and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff uh, here that uh, Richard makes in his studio, uh, in, just in Newstead, in the south side of Newstead. So, I guess the first question is, how does a person get involved, or, or how do you become a potter? Like, I played in mud puddles and made, made things, and it never turned out like this. How did you develop those talents? Sure, I, I played in those puddles as well, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Good. Uh, you know, it was, I had an interest in, in, in visual art and, and I was lucky enough to have a really good high school art teacher, Brian Dalton, uh, just over in Norwell, in, right. in Palmerston is where I yes. had attended high school while growing up in Harrison. And uh, I was introduced to working with clay Mm -hmm. in high school and uh, I went on to go to Georgian College uh, in Barrie and that's where I had, I had taken an elective and it was a fairly broad-based arts program that I was taking right. uh, and so that was my real introduction to working with clay and, and doing wheel work uh, was through a class at Georgian College and when I completed that program uh, with very little attention actually in clay other than evenings and weekends uh, playing, in the mud I, playing in the mud. I, I realized <laughs> this is what I wanted to do and, and so I went on to work for a potter. This is down actually in Des Moines, Iowa oh, and I was yeah. fortunate enough he was aggressive and um, simply the way the way his business was set up uh, I was able to go to, to trade shows and, or what they actually refer to as art fairs Okay really in every major city uh, in the United States over the course of a, a year and a half. And so it was just a brilliant exposure to um, to working in this industry. And after that I went on to go to NASCAD, the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design in Halifax. Right. Uh, where I specialized. At that point I realized uh, I, wanna, uh, I want to have a business making functional pottery where I'm using this type of approach. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and so I went on to work with an, another business uh, in Halifax. And when I completed school, I, I moved back to Ontario and started my business. And we're very thankful that you started it <laughs> and are still continuing on in Newstead. Uh, so you've kind of told us about the craft. Uh, like when I think of pottery, you think of the uh, jar or what, but you've got plates and various things, of course. Yeah, I just brought a in pot a pot and I don't, this wouldn't be very good for the cereal in the morning, but I think I do know what it is for. <laughs> but with the whole, but how yeah. do, where, where do you come up with the ideas or how do you get all the design for this into pottery? Yeah, well, you know, a, a large part of my focus is, uh, is to kind of create a relationship between form, surface, and function. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, if, if there was a structure to, to the design process, that's, that's more mm -hmm. or less where it begins. Uh, you know, and, and, and with that, um, you know, I like to work with rich color. I like simple forms. They tend to function well. Right. They clean up easy. They're, you know, they're, they're serviceable. You know, as far as from a technical point of view or process point of view, uh, these pieces, most of them are, are, are made on a potter's wheel. Uh, I'm working nice. with anywhere between a pound of clay for a mug uh, to 15 pounds of clay for 
you know, a, a nice large mm -hmm. bowl. Bowl or a platter. Uh, exactly. Uh, and uh, it just creates. It comes out of your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Just no different than what we were talking about before. It's kind of a mud puddle, only, I mean, you've taken it to uh, a very, very much a higher level than that. One thing I was going to ask you, do you do any custom design? Does somebody come in and say, I want a mug or I want a set of mugs for gifts or anything like that? Do you do any of that type of stuff? All, all the time. All the time. In fact, actually, there was just an insurance company that um, I made up 60 of these berry bowls for um, for their Christmas gifts, oh. um, yeah. So there's really? all kinds of like anything and everything. Quite literally, from um, you know somebody's sink to drawer pulls to number plates for their house. Houses, right. Um, I mean, all, of all that kinds of things. Of uh, dinnerware f uh, for a wedding, um, like a, all kinds of things. As and long as it's unique. Yeah, as long as it's clay and... Well, yeah, and it falls into the realm of, of, of what I can do, uh, what I'm competent to do, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's what's important, and that's usually uh, the first thing I say when somebody's approaching me with an order. This is the box. I, I yeah. don't want to <laughs> too far outside of that. So a typical work day, does it start at 4 o'clock in the morning firing up the kiln, or...? I'm taking that look as no, not quite that time, I think. It has, yeah, it yeah. has. Uh, typically, uh, the, the kiln go, you know, typically the kiln is going late as opposed to starting it up early. <laughs> Been there, uh, done that. Yeah. Uh, uh, but no, a typical work day, uh, well, I, I, I have a family as well. I'm married and we have a, a six-year-old daughter, daughter. And, and so... As our daughter goes off on the bus and I see her off, um, so at 8.30 is when, when the work day mm -hmm. actually begins and um, it kind of depends where I'm at. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm pulling plastic uh, off pieces that are in progress. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes I'm starting out working with, with wet clay, sometimes I'm uh, starting to decorate pieces uh, to load in the kiln uh, by noon. So it, it it's always different. Every day is different, <laughs> and I guess that's what really is great about having your own job and you know working at home. The color, obviously, it's in the kiln and, and it's burned in. Is it uh, is it an organic color, or how do you get the how do you get the color inside the bowl? Well, you're looking at two different processes right here. Okay. Um, I'm working predominantly with ceramic stains. Uh, all these materials are pulled out of the ground, obviously. Uh, but this, for instance, uh, uh, I'm actually applying a, or uh, um, adding a stain to what's called a, a, a slip. A slip is a watered-down clay. Okay. So I'm basically making a blue clay, and I'm, I'm right after that piece is formed on the wheel, I'm, I'm banding that or brushing that in with, with, with a, a blue clay. Ah. This process, this is actually what I specialize in. It's referred to as a myelica glaze. Mm -hmm. What a myelica glaze is, is a white opaque glaze, very stable so that during the firing there isn't a lot of movement. So th this piece would be dipped in this white opaque glaze and, and then I would be actually brushing a series of colored glazes onto the surface on the raw mm -hmm. glaze. It's then glaze fired and then it's fired. Richard, it's been wonderful speaking to you today. I can't believe that we've, I don't want to use this pun, but I will anyways, we've spun through this whole atmosphere, or this whole display that you have here. We've spun out of time, and I thank you very much for coming in. It's greatly appreciated. And to everybody out there, thank you for watching Showcase West Gray.